Mike Cardano with Roto Experts in the Fantasy Sports Network here with you, and I'm here to put the odds of winning in daily fantasy gaming in your favor. So sit up straight and pay attention, or risk losing your money to others who are. Now, why is everyone complaining about David Price? I can't tell you how many people have asked me if they should move him in their season-long leagues over the past few weeks, and many seem hesitant to play him in daily. And I just saw one fantasy analyst who said this morning, beware of playing him today because he gives up a million home runs. Sure, he's given up 15 home runs on the season, but he's only walked 10 batters all year while striking out 121 in less than 108 innings. Price pitched to a 5.24 ERA in April, a 3.8 ERA in May, and in June, after three starts where he struck out 31 batters in 21 innings, he's tossing to a 2.7. Price isn't walking anyone, and I don't care if he gives up a solo home run or two, if he's going to pile up double-digit strikeouts like he did the last three outings. Look, I don't know what's going to happen tonight. Price could give up just one run and not get the win, because the Rays suck, their offense is awful. But the Astros strike out more than any other team in the Major Leagues not named the Marlins or the White Sox, and David Price will be leading the Major Leagues in strikeouts after tonight. He currently trails King Felix by just one, having started one less game. Daily Fantasy pays you for strikeouts. Giving up solo home runs isn't such a big deal. I don't see how you do not pay up for David Price tonight. Speaking of paying up, the other pitcher at the top of the price charts today is Steven Strasburg. Look, I don't know what your expectations for him were before the season started. Sometimes I think people have aspirations for this kid that are just unrealistic. Forget the fact that he's only 6-5. and five. Wins are much more random than people tend to believe. He's been flat out dominant this year with a 2.49 xFIP, and he's striking out nearly 11 batters per nine while walking the fewest batters in his entire career. He's only walked 20. Strasburg faces the Braves today, who are right there challenging for the league lead in offensive futility, having whiffed 623 times on the season. And this looks like a dream matchup, but I will caution you that the Braves have hit 315 against him in 146 at bats, slugging 454 with an 849 OPS. So while I do like him, if there's someone else that you can make a compelling case for, I wouldn't argue with you if you wanted to play them instead. Whoever it is would undoubtedly be saving you money anyway, as Strasburg will be the highest priced pitcher on most sites today. Brian McCann certainly got off to an auspicious start this season, but he's a player with a track record, and I don't expect him to fade, I expect him to produce as we thought he would, especially as he becomes more familiar with his new surroundings. Now he's seeing the ball well right now. He had a home run and five RBI two nights ago and two walks yesterday, and he faces Ubaldo Jimenez today, a pitcher that gives up a ton of fly balls. This is a great matchup for McCann, particularly at Yankee Stadium, and at 4,915 on Draft Street, 3,500 on DraftKings, and just 3,200 on FanDuel, he'll be a fixture in my lineups across the board. Hey, not everybody in your lineup needs to be a thumper for you to win. It's not realistic to have that anyway. You need a few guys that are in effect role players that can contribute with hits, runs, and stolen bases. And Daniel Murphy is the perfect guy to compliment your big hitters tonight. Murphy faces Henderson Alvarez, who doesn't really walk guys and doesn't really strike many guys out either. And that works perfectly for the Murph, as he sprays the ball all over the place and is almost certain to put balls in play every time up. A two for four night with a single, a double, maybe a run scored and a stolen base, that'll be just what the doctor ordered for the price to pay for Murphy, which is 6655 on Draft Street, 3800 on DraftKings, and 3000 bucks on FanDuel. And hey, if you get a long ball, it's gravy. I cannot recall a season in Major League Baseball with so much rain. And again, there's a lot I can't recall. But we've got another two games to keep an eye on today. There is a 40% chance of thunderstorms at Progressive Field for the Tigers and the Indians, and a 50% chance of the same at Great American Ballpark for the Blue Jays and the Reds. And besides that, we should be pretty good, which is actually better than most days we've been accustomed to. Now, good luck in your daily fantasy gaming today, everyone, and enjoy your weekend. Feel free to hit me up on Twitter with your questions and concerns. My handle is at Mike Cardano, and I'll see you right back here Monday on the Fantasy Sports Network.